What are your options for selling art? Well, today I'd like to talk about consignment. And that's generally for most artists. This is, and not only artists, but people who have objects they want to sell, this is a very good way to do it because a lot of art dealers, art galleries, they, they just can't pony up the money for big tickets. So the only way they can do it is handle it on consignment. Consignment means that you give me the piece of art, I sell it for you, I'm your agent. You're, generally there's a period of time, and in my consignment it's for six months. The reason being is we need time to market it, put it on the web, and basically just need enough time to try to sell it. So I don't take objects as a general rule if I can't have at least six months to sell it. So once I have the piece, then my goal is to get it sold for you and give you a percent of the sale. Consignments can run anywhere from as low as 10% if it was a great expensive object, just like a house, it would be at a lower amount, or it could be as much as, in my case, could be 40% that we're gonna take compared to you getting the 60% depending on what it is. So you can kind of figure 10 to 40% and a lot of places for artists it's even gonna be 50%. Auction houses, which is another way to sell, generally are going to charge 20% to the person who is selling it, and then for the buyer, it's going to be about 25%. So you're looking at, for most auction houses, about 45%. And that is really, again, on consignment. You're just consigning it to the auction house. One of the things you have to realize about doing that is when you do it at the auction house, if your painting doesn't sell, there's going to be a record, a database that you can look up that says, my painting didn't sell at X amount. Now that's a real negative for that piece. So the problem with auctions is you have to make sure that you price it correctly, that it is gonna sell, because you really don't want it to come back. Otherwise, there's gonna be a record of this forever on the internet. The other problem with auction houses is they're gonna charge you handling fees, insurance, photograph, and if it doesn't sell, there's a fee to go back. So remember, when you're looking at consignment, you need to know what's gonna be charged, and what are they gonna do? Are they gonna insure it? Yes, we do, we insure our pieces. Are they gonna charge you to ship it back if it doesn't sell? Well, a lot of cases, yes, including us. If you send us something, we can't sell it, you want it back after the six months, then we're gonna ask you to pay to have it shipped back. It's not unreasonable, but we never charge you for insurance while we have the piece there, and we don't charge you for photographing it or putting it on the web, or even the advertisements. That's all on our costs, as well as any kind of negotiation that it requires to get the piece sold. So don't think that by getting a very cheap consignment rate that you're getting the greatest deal. You want to get the piece in the hands of the person or persons that can sell it for the greatest amount in the shortest period of time. There's nothing wrong with doing a consignment. Just realize there are some things that you need to understand about the process. So the next time you go to a, a gallery and you're trying to sell something, find out about their consignment process. They should be able to tell you. Good luck with your art.